Well, good morning, everybody. It is just after midnight on board Harmony of the Seas, and we are getting ready in a couple hours to pull into Miami. I'm staying up all night, so let's get ready for our arrival. Just hanging out here on deck 16, and I'm gonna pan over. Of course, you're not even able to see it, but I promise you, Carnival Conquest is out there somewhere. And then if I turn all the way around, again, you're not gonna be able to see it, but you can start to see the glow of Miami on the horizon. Up on 15 now, I was hanging out in the Slarium for a little bit, looking over Central Park, and there's actually no wind in this general area. I mean, you can see the wind blowing a little bit up there, but it's nice and calm here. Current time, 1.54, so just about 2 a.m. I just had a couple slices of pizza to help wake myself up, and they started to put up the balloons for next week's sailing. Must be nice. Now you can see the lights of Miami in the distance. We're coming home. Hopefully, the captain decides just to turn the ship around. It's gonna be really hard to tell on the camera. I'll try and zoom in if it'll focus. Well, it's not focusing, but we are making our turn to the west to, you know, pull into Miami. And just like that, the pilot has boarded and the pilot boat is probably gonna head back to the port before getting ready for the Carnival Horizon. I think there might be someone in our way. The ship just sounded its horn five times, so whoever's in our way, please get out of the way. again. This is the culprit, an idiot, an idiot fishing, couldn't get out of the way of the cruise ship. We are making our final turn to line up with the channel and then we're going to head in, go all the way to the turning basin, spin around and then head over to Terminal A. Entering the channel now, the Port of Miami, got South Beach here. This is where I wash the ships leave from. I park my car over here. And then the pier is right down there. It might be a little bit hard to see, but this is where I do some ship spotting. Passing by Smith & Walensi Steakhouse. It's got some of the best steak I've ever had. And I'm not a big steak person. I'm pretty picky with what I eat, but this is definitely a place I highly recommend if you're in Miami. Smith & Walensi's. Passing by the Coast Guard Station here in Miami. They got this little, uh, I guess you consider it an island. Pretty cool. We are approaching the Turning Basin. It's always cool to see ships turn around in Miami, especially bigger ones like this. A few weeks ago, I was here watching uh, Harmony Celebration and Sunrise set sail, and Harmony had to go into the Turning Basin to get out of here, and it was really cool. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I will either link it at the end of the video or it'll be in the description. Passing by some of the big yachts that uh, dock here at the Turning Basin. This one's really big right here. And it's kind of hard to see, but this one's got some cool lights in the water. Dang, must be nice. We have made it into the turning basin and we are now beginning our turn. This is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I was, you know, when we were on Oasis, we turned around uh, during the day, and then of course I missed it at night, but I didn't get views like this. This is incredible. We have completed our turn, and now that I'm on the start, well, still on the starboard side, the Port of Miami's on the starboard side, and you can see Virgin Cruises, or Virgin Voyages, new terminal. Looks pretty cool. I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure this gangway used to be the old 
a gangway from like Terminal E or something here and they just painted it red. But I could be wrong, but that's exactly what it looks like. So pretty cool. This is Terminal G in Miami, and this is where I sailed out of on Navigator this season, but way back in 2018. If you're interested in watching those videos, it's a playlist on my channel. Moving on down Terminal Row, this is Terminal F with the red lines. This used to be MSC's terminal for, for a long time, but now that they're building their brand new terminal in front of A, Carnival Cruise Line took it over and they renovated it to accommodate the Carnival Celebration. And I think Horizon's docking here today. Passing by NCL's new terminal that they use for their big ships. This thing is crazy big. Love to see it though. Love to see all these new terminals coming into Miami. And now we are approaching Royal Caribbean's beautiful Terminal A. Propellers aren't moving though, unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is. Pulling alongside now. And there's my car with only two ships sailing, couldn't even get it under the cover parking spot. This cloud is starting to spit on us. It's probably all blurry now, but I promise it's starting to spit on us. You can see it a little better over here in a distance on the lights, it's starting to rain. Good old Florida. All right, we are just about alongside Terminal A. I'm gonna grab a seat for a little bit, wait for the rain to die off, and wait for the Carnival Horizon to arrive. It is currently pouring out, and the Carnival Horizon is up to It has been absolutely pouring since we docked. Uh, Carnival Horizon's coming in now. I'm waiting for the wind jammer to open and grab some breakfast, and then I don't know what we're gonna do. All right, Carnival Horizon is docking at Terminal F. We are docked at Terminal A. It is 6.18 a.m. I have been up all night. I'm gonna go grab a seat for a little bit and wait for Rachel to get up. It is a very stormy morning here in Miami. We've got another storm rolling in after the one from this morning. I just gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'm gonna do a little bit more walking on the ship and I'm gonna go meet up with Rachel in the room and get ready to disembark.
one last look at the cabin before we disembark the ship in our virtual balcony. It's been great. Now we're gonna, we got like five minutes before they call our number and then we're heading to shore. Just got down to the promenade and it's a lot less busy than I thought it was gonna be. Bye. Bye, thank you.